Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Capricorn for June 2018. Um, big announcements, if you haven't watched any of the other videos, I'm giving away 12 free tarot card readings, uh, one for each zodiac sign this month. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and comment below. Uh, if you don't comment, you're not in the drawing. So just comment below on this video. If you cross watch videos, if you want to check out your moon and your rising signs, you can comment there as well to give you extra chances to win. I'm putting them all in like a random uh, selector generator thing and we will I'll pull it on the 15th so make sure you watch the video for that as well to see the winners. I will be in contact with you through YouTube so make sure you comment, okay? All right guys, so as I was shuffling, um, a lot was happening while I was shuffling. First I got that it's been a long road but it's like Finally, there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you. Um, as I was shuffling, the Ten of Pentacles came out. That was, you know, that's basically abundance. And that's kind of what this reading is all about here. Um, and then also the tower came out. And you'll see that the tower is in the reading as well. And then also the um, Three of Pentacles came out, which is like perfecting a skill. So I feel as though you guys are working on something. There might be a shift that's happening that you want to pursue and you're kind of uh, manifesting it and working on it but let's go ahead and go through the cards that actually came out uh, when pulled for the reading so the first card you have is the higher font then you have the magician then you have the five of cups and then you have the two of pentacles okay so to me the week the first week of june the energy in the beginning of the month of june is kind of either your it, and again remember it's general so I'll read it in both ways but um, so if it whatever resonates with you please take that leave the rest it is a general reading as many people that will watch this video um, so the higher font and the magician together is really telling me that it's like you are manifesting you are creating what you want you might be seeking a little bit of knowledge from outside sources somebody higher than you this could be uh, priests this could be teachers professors, uh, mentors, parents, but you're seeking more knowledge. Um, so that's one way it could resonate. Or you're finding that people are starting to come to you for advice and for knowledge and um, kind of for guidance. And then with the magician and the, you know, the magician is all about manifestation. It's all about having it within yourself to manifest what you want and the life that you want. Okay. And you've got the five of cups and the two of pentacles. So the five of cups is about, you know, I feel like you've been through some shit, like you've been through a lot in your past. And that's why I say it's been a long road, but it's like, finally, it's start, it's time to start looking at those two cups that you have that are full in front of you and forget about the three cups that are spilled in the back. Um, and there's a vampire card over here that's going to relate to that card later. Um, and then you got the two of pentacles. So this is putting, you know, to me, it's like, it's kind of like I'm getting like getting your shit together, putting your stuff like uh, putting things on your plate to be able to manifest, doing new things, juggling a lot, but you're being successful. Like you can see that he's on a he's on a, a log here and he's juggling and he's looking up and he's not worried about where his feet are. So he's not worried about where he's planted. Right. He's not worried if he's going to fall. You're just kind of going with the flow and going with what you feel. All right. Towards the middle of the month. You've got the Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords reversed, and if you follow me, you know I don't do reversals. I do not know how these cards get in there reversed, <laughs> but it is reversed, which is fabulous for a Page of Swords to be reversed. I'm very happy about that, that it is reversed. The Ten of Cups, and then the Seven of Cups, all right? So this is telling me that there's offers coming in. Something that was delayed or something that you didn't want to hear, you're going to, like, um... The page, uh, let me just say that again. The page of swords is upright, is about like delayed news or things you don't want to hear, but it's reversed. So you've got two pages together like that. And I feel like something's going to be coming in. An offer is going to be coming in. A promotion is going to be made. A recognition is going to be made. Um, an advancement in some kind. It could be in related to work. It could be in related, like this could be a, uh, an engagement. Um you know, some, some type of advancement and the 10 of cups, this could definitely be an engagement for some people because, you know, it's the pages and then right next to it is the 10 of cups, which is happy home, happy life. Like this is everything that you want. It's everything you dream of. 
Um, so that could definitely be an engagement for some of you in the middle of June. Don't want to I don't want to ruin the surprise, but it can be. Um, and then for others, this could just be some kind of advancement. Something that you've been waiting for for a long time is finally going to be offered to you. Um, after it, you might be a little bit confused because you do have the Seven of Cups. Um, or you could have many options. So if this is a job offer for you, you could maybe have multiple job offers come in because you do have two pages. So it could be multiple jobs and then you're going to be like, oh my gosh, which one am I going to choose? They both are really fantastic. Um, if it's an engagement, like you could be saying, oh, is this something that I really want? Is now is the time? You're second guessing it really. Um, so just know that you can be a little bit confused or you could have multiple options. Depends how it resonates with you. But don't get hung up in there, all right? Go with the flow. Go with what feels good for you. Towards the end of the month, you've got the world card. So that's kind of like a lingering effect of what is happening in the middle of the month is the world. However, the world is always an ending and new beginning. So I feel like whatever energy is here, it's not going to relate to the end of the month. Like you're going to have really good in the middle of the month, but then something different. It's not going to relate to the same thing that's happening in the middle of the month. Something different is going to come into play. You've got the world card. You've got the tower card. You've got the knight of swords. And then you've got the ace of cups. So this tower, a lot of people get scared about the tower card, but there's no reason to be scared. This is a change for you. It's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to be unusual, but there's a change coming. So you got the world and the tower right next to each other. So something's going to end. Something's going to, um, I don't want to say crashing down for you guys, because that's usually how the tower card is. I don't feel like that for you. I feel like it's just going to be a change, something in a better direction. And I feel like you're going to kind of full force go ahead with it and say, you know what, this is what I want. And, you know, yes, I have to let things go, but I need to move forward in this direction because there is a new beginning, Ace of Cups. There's a new beginning coming for, for you. And, you know, the cups is about love, but this could be work. It could be career. It could be what you love to do. Um, so don't get terrified about the tower because I feel like this is an overall really good energy for you for the month of June. Uh, probably one of the best that I've seen yet. Um, so just know that a change is coming, but it's a change in the better direction. And I feel like you're going to be passionate about it. The, the, um, the night of... The Knight of Swords is about chaos and, and up and down roller coaster. But like when I see this card for you in this reading, I feel as though it's it's like a passion. Like you're going for it because this is what you love to do because you've got the Ace of Cups right next to it. So it's like it's only leading you to good things. You can see he's charging forward towards the Ace of Cups. So I definitely think it's good for you guys. You also have over here, you have visualization and you have kindness. So visualize what you want. That's what this manifestation, the magician is about, is manifesting, but you have to visualize it. You have to feel like you already have it. You have to see the bigger picture, all right? And then kindness. And the way that I feel, guys, is if you can live your life with kindness and if every interaction that you have, you have kindness, there's nothing but good that's going to come your way, all right? So do it with kindness. Do it with love. Um, and then you've got the vampire card. Now, I haven't pulled vampire cards for every reading because I am reading from the book just because the messages are very, very powerful. Um, so please be patient while I read from the book because I believe that this message is going to uh, resonate with you. But the card that you have is transgression and it says flaws, contradictions, mistakes. Okay, so let's go ahead and read and see what it says because I think this is going gonna, is gonna to be good for you guys. It says, and forgive any of my English, I'm not that great with, with reading, but here we go. There are many in this world, vampire and human, fairy and other worldly creature, who seem to delight in the faults of others, using them as a way of proving their own worth. See, they point out, you are worse than I, and could there be any worse than this killing of a sacred animal, the unicorn, now mourned so deeply by this little vampire? You see the card. She's holding the unicorn skull. Uh, the, uni uh, the unicorn skull. Um, this is false glory and disturbing to all of us who live long lives to see so many worry that they have sinned and hurt others and cannot be forgiven, and to see others glory in the guilt that they use to manipulate and feel righteous. The most perfected souls upon this planet have all created moments in their lives where they have gone against their own values and their own hearts, their own souls, and transgressed. 
They have hurt themselves and they have hurt others. And so when you see this card and wonder what is it you have done wrong, know it is this. It is incorrect of you to assume that your faults and flaws, your poor decisions, and yes, the mistakes you have made are more ghastly than any other. There is not one amongst any of us who has not done wrong. And it is good that we vampires and you humans can feel remorse and take steps to correct ourselves and do better. But what we witness from here is that you are being told again and again by either an abusive other or your own abusive part of yourself that you are guilty, wrong, and can never be forgiven. You must now take steps to correct what can be corrected. Apologize clearly and once if this is the right thing for you to do and then forgive your own self. To continually internally erode your own value due to another's encouragement is a false kind of virtue. There is no good in hurting yourself over and over to prove how sorry you are. Live better, do better, but let the self-punishment go, and do not allow another to utilize your compassionate remorse for their own ends. Yes, they are. We are all human and other world creature going to transgress against the natural laws and the laws of your own souls. What we do about it is what matters. Go on now and make amends, then give thanks for the gift of self-forgiveness. The blessing of this card is when we go against our integrity, our soul will let us know. And if we continue to deny that inner voice, the universe will show us where we are going wrong. The curse of the card is crowding out your inner voice, continuing down a path that we know is against the truth of our soul, breaking universal laws. Working with this card, make amends, take stock, assess and redirect, and come back into harmony with your voice of your soul. So... You know, that's telling me that you might be a little bit critical of yourself and the choices and that you have made in the past. Um, and especially with the Hierophant and the Magician, it's like you might feel as though, who am I to give advice? Who am I to, um, you know, after all the mistakes that I've made, who's going to listen to me? Who's going to want my guidance? Who's going to want that? But, um, and it's funny, I just saw a post on Facebook about this, uh, like a light worker and like, you know, light workers go through their shadows. And I say that, yes, light workers come from darkness because they have to go through that darkness in order to find their light and shine that light and share it with others. So I feel like that's a little bit of what's going on here with you is that you might be going through some darkness right now. Um, and that's what's going to change here is that you're going to recognize that you're going to see that it's okay to have darkness. Everybody does. And yours is no worse than anybody else's. And you have the right to shine your light even though you've been through a lot, all right? That long road that you've made. It's finally seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. So it's time to shine your light. It's time to find your light is what I'm really getting. It's time to make amends with people that maybe you've done wrong. Um, it's just time for you to really embrace who you are and shine and be kind Um because really nobody cares about what you've been through. It's who you are now. All right. And I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure that you subscribe and comment if you want to be entered in the free reading. I will pull it on June 15th if I have not already said that. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.